What's going on guys? John Elder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to set up an admin user to delete blog posts for our app with Flask and Python. Alright guys, in this video, we're going to designate an admin user that could edit and delete any blog post, not just their own. But before we get started, I want to let you know there is one day left of my special birthday sale over at CodingMe.com. You can sign up for total membership, get all my courses for just $44 using coupon code BIRTHDAY44. Regularly priced $198. You can use that coupon code for the next 24 hours. After that, it'll disappear and go back to regular price. So take advantage of that if you're interested. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and then Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Flask videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. Okay, let's head back over to the site real quick here. And let me just sort of show you what I'm talking about. I'm logged in as my user, Codemy. And you can see all of these now have a delete button next to them. Now, normally, if we log out, we log back in as, say, Tim, and go to go to the post page, you can see only Tim's posts have delete buttons next to them. The rest of them don't. So that's what we're going to be looking at in this video. So let me go ahead and log back in as my login. Go over to post. And again, we see all of these delete buttons. Now, this is super easy. There's lots of ways you could do this. And there's probably a, a real way to do this. We're going to create a quick hack because sometimes quick hacks just are quick and easy and get the job done. And in this case, it will. So we go over to our dashboard, we see our user ID is 14. Since we know what user ID is, we could just run some logic on any page we want to change and say, hey, if the current user is 14, let them do whatever they want. Right now you could set up a whole, you know, Flask, SQL Alchemy, whatever admin thing but this is going to be much easier. So we're just going to do it this way. So set up our code and let's head over to our templates and our, let's see, posts page. And this is plural posts. And this is the page that has our posts listed, right? So if we come down here, we've already set this up right here to where the current user has to be the correct user. That has to be the person that created the blog post in order to show these buttons, right? Well, we could just slap on an or, and we could say or current underscore user dot ID equals 14 because we know our ID is 14. Obviously, if your ID is something else, if your ID is one, you would put one there, right? So again, it's a hacky thing, but it will do the job. So if we save this, head back over here and look at our post page. Now we have a button next to all of these things. Now there's one little hiccup here. We've got this Tim's post. If I try and delete it, it's going to say you aren't authorized to delete th that post. So we need to make at least one more a little tweak here. So let's head back over to our code and let's go to our app.py file. And I'm going to search for delete underscore post. There it is. And this is the function that deals with deleting posts. And you can see we've got some logic here. We've already set up the ID to say, you know, whoever's current ID. Well, first you have to be logged in to even use this function. And if you are logged in, you have a current ID. So we're assigning that current ID to this ID variable. And then we're running some logic. We're saying, hey, if the current user is the same as the owner of the post, then we can go ahead and delete it. Otherwise, you know, you can't do it. And you get this thing down here that says, hey, you aren't authorized to delete that post. So we could just do the same exact thing here. So if, uh, let's see, ID equals post to delete poster ID or ID equals 14, right? <laughs> And, you know, just that simple. Now, again, I know this is a hacky sort of thing to do, but let's refresh this page, head down here, and boom, that post has now been deleted. And that's all there is to it. Now we can log out, log back in as Tim, come to our post page, and all those other buttons are gone, except for when Tim posted something. So let's try this out one more time. Let's create a quick post and say test Tim to, I don't know, Go ahead and submit this. Go to our post page. Up oh, there it is. Now let's go ahead and log out. Log back in as Codemy. This is now our sort of admin. Go over to our posts and let's see. Test Tim two. Go ahead and try and delete it. Blog post was deleted and just that easy. Now we could try and do the same thing for the edit. You know we're not authorized to edit this post. We could head back over here and search for edit underscore post. There we are. Same thing. We can say or current underscore user dot ID equals 14. Save this, head back over to the site, hit reload, and boom, now we can edit this post. 
Now we're probably going to get the same thing. So we try to make a change. It's going to tell us, no, you can't do that. Ah, I guess we can. <laughs> so we didn't have any logic. We didn't have any logic in our app.py file that, you know, made sure that the correct user had to edit the post. You might want to put that in there because it looks like anybody can edit this post. If you can get to that page, which you can't, but you know, still, uh, we can see there it is. We come back here. This is Tim's post edited. <laughs> That's all there is to it. So again, we're not really creating an admin system with this. This is just a quick and dirty way to allow some user, any user, in our case, user 14, uh, you know, sort of super user powers without having to create a whole super user system on top of it. And that works for me. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code BIRTHDAY44 for the next 24 hours to get all my courses for just $44, regularly priced $198. So that's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.